long project of building this uh, pool cabana. So here's just to give you an example of the, all the wood that, that, that was delivered. Yes, a little over two, like two and a half tons of wood. And so just a, a walk through here, just kind of showing you, here's the cedar wrapping, uh, you know, the, the, the different fascia. So there's, a, there's a, a lot there that needs to be sorted and moved. And then some of the underlying things. Here's the, the joists, which I two by tens, if I remember. Uh, they're 12 feet. Uh, here's all the siding and the soffits. Uh, more of like the studs, the two by fours. Here's the two by sixes from the, the support wall. Here's the external door. And then on the ground, you'll see a lot of the, the, the brackets, the hardware, they give shims, everything you need, blocking between the, the wood. Um, there's, there's like the door header, and then you get a lot of extra scraps that you can use just for support, things like that. Uh, then there's the roof, the, the wall, the plywood. There's all, all that, everything you need to build this. And then I just want to show a picture of some of the, the, the plans just to give you an idea of how detailed they are. Uh, inventory, what it should look like, you know, any little pieces that, that help. Uh, then you get the color when you're actually wrapping the, the beams and then you can see all the dimensions of the building. So it's nice that they have everything, so the wood's all pre-cut and then they have great directions. So see the, the walls, you see the, the directions or the, the sizes. There's up there, uh, and then once you get to the sheathing, you can work on that. Have the inventory, which is actually helpful as well, just to kind of correlate between the two, and then directions on each page about you know, sheathing, putting the walls, and once you get them together, everything to that point. So by the end of the first day here, I've been able to get uh, most of the, the wood moved to the back. I said, just spent the first time unloading it. Um, it took like about an hour and a half for myself and two other guys, I got some hourly guys to kind of help, uh, about an hour and a half, I said, to unload the whole truck, but it was, it was a lot. I got 12 by 14. So my goal was to just move this, this finishing wood, all the, uh, si the uh, cedar, just cause I want to leave it, leave it out here by the road. Uh, I'm trying to move it all to the back and kind of rough sort it. So I still got a pile here to go started at 10 a.m. and 5.30. That's a little bit more. The rest of this is just kind of dimensional lumber. So I'll probably leave it out. Um, so I'll show you the back. So this is where I've been walking it with the help of a wheelbarrow. It's about 200 feet or so. Uh, just coming through here. You can see it kind of just working on and off, roughing. Uh, I would get, so I got them to help, the, the, why well, I had the helpers here, just because it's just me, but why well, I had the helpers move the move the big uh, support beams, because those are, um, I gotta be a couple hundred pounds. Um, so just kind of put a couple of the, the plywood here, roughed in, just attempting to see, you know, kind of working through the logistics here, of how I'm gonna put everything out. Most of the time I've been spent, again, rough sorting, so getting, Two by fours here, looks like double top plate and some other pieces. Some of the studs here, more studs of the two by four studs. Some pieces I'm not really sure where they are yet. Um, but you can see, it's, it's obvious the, uh, here we go, the pressure treated lumber that's gonna be sitting along the sill uh, is obviously there. Um, so again, more, these are actually all extra pieces. So they give you a lot of extra, it's gonna be nice for support and things. It's like two by four by 16 or so. Uh, you'll be shocked, at least I was shocked, at the amount of siding. So this is all siding here, all this nice um, western red cedar. So I tried to, again, kind of rough sort it into, there's all the same here. Uh, there's some other additional pieces here. It's all the same type of siding. Uh, again, some random pieces here, but I tried to break it up into pieces. So when I go to use it, I'll know uh, this is, I think, strapping. There's a lot of that as well. It's hard to you get a perspective of how much there is here. You can see all this up here. And then I'm using a wheelbarrow. I said to kind of take as much as I can without tipping it. This is more of the uh, exterior, more of this, uh, like the, around the, the fashion stuff. So again, I'm trying to rough sort this as I get it. I'm just doing it by width because I seem like there happen to be, 
you know, a couple different sizes. Uh, this looks like about nine inch or so and about seven, six and a half. Anyways, I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, so that's, again, using up almost my whole pool area, but I got just about all of it sorted so I can start working through the directions.